Hey guys, look who's back! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. Alright, on today's episode, we're going to start to work on this old Chevy truck again. And I'm sure you remember it for some, from some previous episodes. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to paint this truck. Uh, it's going to be the, uh, the original, or the color it is now, the color you see here. And, uh, you know, the one thing I'm not going to do on this is I am not going to, you know, film just hours and hours and hours of sanding. Um, I'm just going to keep you tuned in to the highlights of it and you, so you can see the progress. So I hope you enjoy it because it, it should be a lot of fun. And I know I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it all done. So uh, be sure to keep tuning in on it and uh, check out the progress of it. Should be a lot of fun for sure. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Hey, I just wanted to let you know up front, there's going to be a continuity issue in this episode. Uh, you'll have to see if you can see it or not. Uh, but anyway, if you don't like it and you want your money back, just let me know. I'd be happy to send you every dime back that you sent me. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy the episode. And then uh, after this, we'll get into the bodywork portion. All right, so we got a big old leak on under here on the uh, transmission pan. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. Um, the owner got a new pan and gasket, and we're going to go ahead and get that put on. So what I'm going to do is take a bunch of these out, and then eventually I'm going to tip the backside down so it pours into the pan. At that point, we hopefully don't make a big mess. shift points and uh, make this truck run a lot better. It's probably good for another 10 horsepower at the rear wheels. So uh, let's, uh, let's put this on. Of course I'm just kidding about the shift points and the horsepower. It's actually way better than what I said.
just going to check and make sure the gasket looks good all the way around it. Now's the time to fix that. Alright, looks good. Now we'll tighten these to 100 pound feet of torque. Okay, that might be a little high. I'm just going to basically use this to run the bolts in. I'm not going to tighten anything with them because this has way too much power. i got to look the torque spec up, but it's really low on this. Alright, all done. Nice chrome shiny oil pan. Like I said, it's even got a drain plug in it, which is kind of nice. Walking around it, looking at the gasket. The gasket looks in place all the way around. So, I think we're good. Alright, looks like we got just a little drip of oil right there on the pinion seal, so uh, let's do that too. As long as we're having so much fun already. There we go. Whoo. drive shaft doesn't have a collapsible section in it. So, interesting. So that's the seal. So I'm going to get a hammer and chisel and pop that bad dog out. Alright, basically there's just a regular old run-of-the-mill seal in here. We'll uh, pop this out. Luckily, I put a catch pan under it just in case that happens. So that's it. That's all that's to pulling the seal out. Zippy zip. Make sure that it's centered in there properly. I'm going to hand tighten these. 
things just so there's no issues. I know they're tight properly. Let's take a look at some viewers' rides. Hi right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode up and running. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back next time and we'll keep working on this old Chevy truck. Should be exciting. I know I can't wait to see it all done. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell right next to it for the notifications, and click the like button.